Hi y'all! Happy New Year! Welcome to Truly Wicked Crafts. I'm Ava, also known as Truly Wicked on Ravelry, Truly Wicked Crafts on Etsy and Tumblr, Truly Wicked of R on Instagram, and Truly Wicked of Y on Twitter. Uh, welcome back and welcome to the new year to those of you who have been here with me before. It is... January 1st here, fortuitously falling on Friday, um, and it's, it, you will note the light is kind of dim, it's overcast. Any, any new people who are here, thank you for popping in, thank you for checking me out. Let me know if you like what you see. Um... Christmas was crazy. <laughs> the last days of December were a little... I did not craft very much at all in the last days of December. Uh... Sorry. I think I have a cat hair stuck on my face. <laughs> I... I was so... I did so much, um... Before Christmas that my hand hurt. So, most of, until the, like, before the last three or four days, no, last three days of December, I did no crochet, no polymer clay work, I did nothing but sleep, read, and slug around and shop. I did some shopping. Uh, I don't really have anything to show you from the shopping, but I did some shopping. So, but about three days ago, I posted on Facebook. Um, I have my Facebook set to private, but there are some things that I will post publicly on there. Usually they're the, um, usually they're the crafts that I do, that I post public. Uh, and I had two people ask me, uh, if I would make them some of the things that I posted. Uh, one of them is the elements, which I have made twice now. Uh, and this lady wanted a pair of black, and due to the lighting being fantastically awful, you can't really see the cabling. Nope. <laughs> you cannot see the cabling on these. But these are the Owlmits by Erica Ward. I think they're by Erica Ward. I know her name's Erica, I'm not sure if I'm getting the last name right. Uh, the only different, the only thing I really do different for the elements is that around the, the cuff, you can see how it kind of, kind of ripples there. I front post, back post, crochet so that it's a little, little bit ribbed. So, she's getting these today. We are meeting up at the gym. I don't go to the gym anymore because I can't afford the membership fee, but she still goes, so that's where we're meeting. And the other family member who requested, and she will, she will be sending me money for it, but she saw the hat I made my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law. I just like to call her my sister because if I could have picked a sister, she'd be it. Uh, but she saw the hat I made my sister-in-law, and that one was green. Uh, I think it's the, it is Red Heart Super Saver, and I think the colorway of the green part was sage green. And the embroidery, the lace applique on it, was made out of embroidery floss. Well, my, I'm trying to think of how I'm related to her. 
she's my granny's niece. So I, she's a cousin, I'm pretty sure, several times removed. Well, she saw it and she was like, ooh, pretty. And she wanted one in a, what she called a soft heathery blue. I took a picture of the Lion Brand Land, not Landscape, Lion Brand Heartland Glacier Bay yarn I have in my stash. And asked her if that was what she meant. She said, perfect. And my granny gave me her old sewing box full of crafty stuff of varying types. A lot of different types. There's needle punch stuff in there even. Um, so I was able to, and there was also crochet thread. So size 10 crochet thread. So I used that instead of the floss. And I made another Tree of Life hat. I'm probably not going to make another one of these ever, 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 ever again. Ever. Because I really kind of do not like sewing the tree to the hat. It takes forever. The hat finished in a night. Finish, I can finish, I can actually do the tree itself in like two hours if I don't get bored with it. But sewing it on there takes a while. And I don't like it. I don't enjoy doing it. Uh, so I'm probably not going to ever make another one of these unless somebody offers me an obscene amount of money. <laughs> but those are the only two finished objects I currently have. Um, I do still have, like, finished object or works in progress that have been in progress for fl flipping ever. Um... And that leads me right, because I'm not going to go into whips so much, because I don't really have any whips that are new whips. But it leads me directly into my 2016 goals, is what I will call them. My goals. I don't do New Year's resolution. I do goals, things I want to, come, I want to accomplish in 2016. <laughs> uh, so... Here they are. I made 16 of them, 16 official goals, and one to grow on. So if I complete all the others, I will do the last one. Fingers crossed. Um, number one. My granny for years had a Cocker Spaniel. Uh, and that she named Lady. Those of you who know Disney know where the name comes from. Um, but that dog died whew, 12 years ago. Yeah, about 12 years ago. And Granny's never gotten another dog since because she can't take it. She misses her lady. Uh, whenever Granny would go and get Lady groomed, instead of us washing her hair, the groomer would put like a little neck scarf on Lady. And Granny wants these made into a quilt. I think it's Granny who wants that. It might be my Aunt Marie, but these are going to be made into a quilt. That is my number one goal, to make these into a quilt. I really want to find because I don't think there's enough in there to make like a full size quilt. Um, so whatever squares I make, they're gonna need something between them. I really wanna find Cocker Spaniel fabric. I really want to find Cocker Spaniel fabric. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I wanna. I know there used to be Cocker Spaniel fabric floating around, but went to Joann's, couldn't find any went to went online couldn't find any we have a quilting shop nearby we may go there um so that's my number one goal make that quilt out of the dog out of the dog hankies number two because i never ever 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 again want to go through the absolute madness of december 
and trying to get all those gifts done in a month. I want to make at least four gifts a month until all the Christmas gifts are taken care of. The reason I say four gifts a month is because I have a lot of family members who live in town. Yikes. Ah! It, it's in the 30s, people. I have 30 people that I have to gift in this family. So, number three. Involving one of my been on the hook for ages. Whoops. I want to finish my beaded box shawl. Preferably before summer, but I want to finish it. Number four. I want to finish the Little Bunny Foo Foo handbrake cowl. The handbrake cowl that is being made out of fingering weight yarn. First real knitting project, of course, I had to cast on a cowl made out of fingering weight yarn. What was I thinking? Number five. I want to make a bank head hat. Kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that I have, am making a handbrake cowl. For those of you who know anything about the Bakery Bears podcast. Um, the handbrake cowl is kind of based off of the bank head hat. More based off of Dan Jones's, Dan Jones of the Bakery Bears podcast's love of the Bankhead hat. Uh, number six. I want to finish spinning my BFL Peach Melba colorway that I got from Owl About Yarn. I want to finish spinning that. Because I have other things. I have other fibers. Not a, not a whole bunch. I didn't go insane and get a ton and a half of fiber because I have a hand spindle. I don't spin that very. I don't spin that quickly. So that's number six. Number seven is I want to spin the domestic sampler that I got from Beezy Bees Fiber. Number eight. I want to make my own cup took shawl. It'll probably be a shawlette because I don't think I have enough to make it the same size don't think I know I don't have enough to make the same size as the shawl that I made for my cousin that thing was humongous but I want to use my Bill Door yarn sorry for that loud clunk my mirror fell but I per the same time I purchased the BFL Peach Melba colorway yarn from Owl About Yarn uh, I also purchased, and I was sure this was going to sell before I could get my hot little hands on it, but when I went, had the money to purchase it and it wasn't gone, I jumped on it. But this is the Bill Door Reaper Man yarn. It's based on the Grim Reaper from Terry Pratchett's. It's got these pops of royal blue... It's black and pops of, it's bone white yarn. It's not like bright, shiny white, but kind of the bone color, which is so cool. And it has sparklies in it. I don't know if you can tell or not. But this will be used to make my own little shawlette out of the skull shawlette. And number nine, I want to finally use the bamboo yarn, the pretty, pretty 100% bamboo viscose yarn that I got from Yarntopia in the Rose Garden. It's gorgeous. It's variegated. I'm going to make something of it this year. Number 10. I want to try needle felting. I want to get a kit that is cute enough, in my opinion. I have issued, I have, um, high, cute 
standards, I guess you could say. But I want to get some a needle felting kit. I want to try it. So, eventually, I will try needle felting. I may try needle felting the very next time I can get something from Joanne's. If I can find a needle felting kit at Joanne's. Um, number 11. I want to learn a new knitting or crochet technique or stitch. I want to learn something new. I will probably learn a lot of new things, but I want to learn something new. Not just do what I've what I already know: front post, back post, crochet cables. It's probably going to be a new knitting technique that I learn. Number twelve. One, two, whatever. I want to make an afghan. I have joined the... I am going to be doing the 2016 Moogly blog afghan along. I'm going to be doing that. So by the end of 2016, I will have made an afghan. Uh, number three, 13. Number 13. I want to make at least six items that are in my queue, that are in my Ravelry queue, at least six of them. I don't know if I will manage it, but I want to try. Uh, number four, I want to visit my local yarn shop twice this year. I only managed to visit it once in 2015. I want to visit it twice in 2016. It's difficult for me to get there because my mom is the one with the car and she hates, absolutely hates, going over to Mandarin. And that's where it is. Uh, so I have to bribe, beg, bribe, whatever to get there. Uh, number 15. I want to cut, I have adult coloring books. My mom picked them up. Uh, I had the same person who does the secret garden coloring book. I cannot for the life of me right now remember her name, but she also has a sea life one and an enchanted forest one. Those are the two that I have. I want to color at least 16 pages from these things. Um, and number 16, I, will, I have a, I call it a random shawl. It started off as a Fernanda shawl, but as I was doing it, it became asymmetrical and I didn't want to do an asymmetrical shawl. So then I just decided that I was just going to go back and forth following the basic stitch pattern of this shawl and with the yarn I had until I ran out of the yarn. So I want to finish that. Now the one to grow, now the one goal to grow on if I manage to finish all the others or since the since I'm doing the afghan along if I finish all but that one before the end of the year I want to make a bag using interfacing or make a drawstring bag. I know how to make a zippered bag without interfacing. No problem. No problem at all. But I want to make a drawstring bag. This is like a sewing goal. I want to make a drawstring bag, figure out how to do that to my personal standard. Because I don't know how people manage to do the drawstrings without the holes like fraying. I want to figure out how to do that. But at the same time, all my bags currently do not have interfacing, so they don't stand up on their own. I want to learn how to make a bag with interfacing so it stands up on its own. So those are my 16 and 2016 goals plus one to grow on. So fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed that I can manage to do these things. Uh, I don't have any entertainment gushing, really. All the books I've been reading are, like, old favorites that I've loved for years. 
so I don't really have any entertainment gushing. Uh, Rani seems to be feeling better, so that's the only update I have there. I don't know if she actually is or not, but she seems to be feeling better. Uh, my mom's doing okay. My, my family in general is doing all right. Uh, I have not yet heard from the brother who did get made something for Christmas, by the way. It was just a cup cozy, but he got something made. He got a gift, a handmade gift around a Star Wars cup because he likes Star Wars. He's the reason I like Star Wars, too. I'm not, like, obsessed about Star Wars, but I like Star Wars. Um, so, there you go. There's the basic family hoo-ha. I haven't heard from him very much. All I heard was that they got the package that had the gifts. I haven't heard whether the kids... I had to actually contact my sister and ask if the kids liked their gifts. I'm not even going to try asking if my brother liked his or if April liked hers. If April liked hers, she'll let me know when she has time. April is my sister-in-law's name, by the way. Uh, and she will let me know if the kid, and she let, she said the kids did like theirs and that they were playing with them. So, hopefully I did good there. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Kind of a short vlog from the start of the year. I don't do years in review. But... So I will not go back over 2015 and all the madness that it was. Uh, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this short little episode. Um, if you liked hearing me talk, go over my goals. If you liked this video, give it give it a thumbs up on the little theme at Doodger. Ah, itchy ear. If you think other people will like this, share it. Comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Ask me questions. Tell me if you think I can do something better. Whatever. Let me know what you thought. Uh, subscribe if you want to know more, if you want to see me again. <laughs> And, you know, if you like me, let me know. I'd like to know. So, that's the end of that. I will see you all in a week. And hopefully I will have at least started something, if not finished something. Uh, by then, and good lord, it's getting dark in here. Take care, y'all. Bye.